Welcome back, everyone, to Catherine's Plates. I got my son in the house today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> he just got off work, and he's ready to make this dish for you guys. <laughs> now, this is a, what is it? It's a beer, beeria. Beeria tacos. Mm -hmm. We've never made this before, but it sounds so delicious, and we love making Mexican-inspired dishes. So if you know how to cook a roast in a crock pot, you're almost there. <laughs> and then the rest is just cooking it on a griddle or in your skillet. If you're ready for this, now we started off by cooking a roast in a crock pot. And I'm gonna show you right here all the steps that we did for that. Now this was a barbacoa recipe that I have in my blog. And we love that kind of flavor. Now birria tacos, there's so many different ways that you can make them. So this is our version today. Here we go. In the base of a food processor, I'm going to add one onion that I've diced, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of oregano, or you can use the Mexican flavored oregano, one tablespoon of ground cumin, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of lime juice, four ounces of diced green chilies. We have a can of chipotle peppers in adobe sauce. I'm going to take about two forkfuls of the peppers and put them in. Now it's whatever your heat level. If you want to add more, then you can add more. We're going to add one cup of some beef broth. This is to kind of get it going. Hey, okay, we're going to place this on top of our processor. That's what it should look like. Now you can give it a try. Make sure your seasonings are where you want them. And if you wanna add more heat, you can add more heat. We're gonna place this in the bottom of the crock pot. We're gonna add three cups of broth to this. I'm using a beef broth. I'm gonna place in two teaspoons of salt one teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, mix this together. Sitting here I have a chuck pot roast. It's boneless. It's about two and a half pounds. What I'm going to do is season the top side with some salt and some pepper. All right, I'm going to start placing a large skillet over medium high heat. Add one to two tablespoons of some cooking oil. Once the oil gets nice and hot, we're going to place our chuck roast season side down into the pan. You want it nice and hot so it gets a good sear on the meat. Okay, we're gonna place our chuck roast season side down. Okay. We're gonna leave it there for about four to five minutes until we get a nice sear on the bottom side there. What we're going to do now is just season the top side here with some salt and some pepper. Alright, it's nicely browned on the back side. We're going to go ahead now and place this into our crock pot and submerge it into that barbacoa gravy. Placing a lid on, we're going to cook this on low for 8 to 10 hours until the chuck roast is so tender it just falls apart. You can also cook this on high for about 6 to 8 hours. So the timing is all based on how thick your chuck roast is and how tender you want it. And believe me, you want it really fork tender. Okay, it's all done. We're going to go ahead and pull the roast out and shred it up. As you can see, it is just falling apart. All right, we're going to place this mm, all back into the juices. Okay, there is my barbacoa roast beef in the crock pot. Mexican inspired flavors. Now we cooked the roast the day before and then I just placed it into the refrigerator. 
We just heated it up in a big pot right here. You want all of the juices, you want all of that fat, so everything that rose up to the top and got chilled overnight, you wanna melt that down back into that roast, okay? That is what's gonna help us flat top or grill our tacos. We've got corn tortillas here. We're gonna run through the process for you. What's cool about this dish is that while you're baking them, they go this way through the process and then people eat them on this end here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear anyway. So it goes like this and then like that and then away it goes. That's his, okay. Uh, I need some stuff on there. <laughs> no, you yeah. don't. He's like, wait a minute. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want some skillets or like a griddle and we're gonna get it to a nice heat, probably about a medium high heat. You don't wanna get it too hot, but you don't want it too low either because you don't want the grease to just kind of soak into your corn tortillas. All right, Joseph, go ahead and show everybody what they're gonna need ahead of time before they get started with this. So we've got our, right here, we've got the freshly chopped cilantro. Right here, we've got some fresh, a small diced onion. Over here, we've got some sliced limes, and then we've got our queso fresco. And the queso fresco is a crumbly cheese. It melts really good in this, and it's used in a lot of Mexican-inspired dishes. That's why we're using this. We love this cheese. It's really good. <laughs> it is good cheese. Okay, we've got one going here. I'm gonna slide this over, and we're gonna show you how we did that. All right, Joseph, it's all up to you. All right. So we're gonna take the corn tortilla and dunk it into the sauce. Make sure it gets wet on both sides. Kind of shake any of that extra oh boy. meat off of there. It's good. And then we're gonna plop it on here. And then we're gonna let it sit there for about a minute. Let it kind of cook itself. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take it and flip it over. Oh yeah, it's got a nice little crispness to it right there. Mm -hmm. Alright, Joseph, finish it off. Alright, we're going to go ahead and throw some meat on there. Just a little bit. I've got this one working right here. <laughs> and then we're going to put some of our queso fresco. Yeah, put that cheese on there. That cheese melts really good on it. And then we're going to put some onions and then some cilantro and then the flipper over here. And then you're going to take your spatula. You're going to make a little taco with it and then just hold it down until it takes form. Oh yeah. And it'll start looking like that right here. You just want to flip it over a few times. There we go, see? Nice and crisp on both sides. That cheese is melted. Oh yeah. Look at that. Looks delicious. Whose is this one? Mine. <laughs> he brought a plate and everything. All right, Joseph, let's get this thing filled up. All right. Okay. Yeah. If you have a griddle, you can do a lot of them. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you can use two large skillets and then just do them that way. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. This one's done. Get that one. I'm looking good. There they are. Yep, put that cheese on there. Woo. Once he gets the onions and the cilantro on, I'm gonna start flipping them. You got time because you want these to get nice and crisp, but you want to be able to flip them too. So you can get that taco going on. Now, if you don't like cilantro, you don't have to put it on. If you want to give it some green color, you can maybe a little bit of parsley or some green onion instead of the white onion. Ooh, he loves cilantro. Decorating mm. these things. All right, we're gonna flip. Then just kind of hold it down for just a minute to gather its shape. We go. Now crisp them on the back side and then we're gonna flip them over. We want to flip them over about two or three times. Just keep an eye on them. All right, we got a few more. There's four of us in this house and I think four of them each. 
<laughs> you want them nice and crisp because they just hold their shape and hold everything in there. All right, y'all, we'll be back with the finished product, and then we're going to show you how we're going to eat them. Thomas is already behind the camera showing us how he's eating them. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the heck? He's like, wait a minute. I'm cooking this. Is it good? Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad you know. He doesn't even need the finishing touches, you guys. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. Yep, we will be. All right, guys, here's our birria tacos from our roast that we cooked in the crock pot with those delicious flavors. And you mm -hmm. saw how we put this together. Oh, yeah, right. that's good. Joseph, you ready for your bite? I'm ready. I'm ready for my bite. Let's go. All righty, let's go. All right. Let's go. Here's my taco. And here's mine. We got some lime here. Yep. So if you want to sprinkle some lime juice. Mm -hmm. Got a little there bit of lime juice. All right. And I'm going to take some of this broth here. Broth you want that there. consomme. Oh, there we go. Just livens it all Looks up. Looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Mm. Did you get that crunch? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. And we got mm. a platter of these to eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> let us know what you think of our version mm -hmm. of these tacos. Mm-hmm. Give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Don't forget to check out that playlist down below with Joseph's videos where he's in there with me. Yep. All right, I'm on Facebook also. Yeah, gotta go drop that uh, like on Facebook too. Yes. All right, we will see you on the next episode. Oh yeah, see y'all.